So hi guys, this is Rodrigo from DJ Tech Zone. I'm here with uh, Greg from um, Gemini and uh, they have a, a quite cool new controller out uh, here at NAMM 2017. It's an SDG 4000. It replaces the SDG 2000 that we saw last year and Greg has uh, kindly agreed to uh, take us through the features and functionalities of it. Over to you, Craig. Thank you very much. So uh, I'm the product manager for DJ at Gemini, and uh, like he said, this is the SDJ 4000. This comes directly from the project, the SDJ 2000 that we had last year. So um, this is a dual deck. There are two media players, a dual deck uh, media player. It's got a four channel mixer, so the other two channels will be for connecting any kind of an external source. So turntables, CD players, anything along those lines. Each deck has a traditional touch platter, 100 millimeter pitch fader, feels wonderful. It's a great fader here. Um, you have your performance pad section and uh, you can modulate these pads between you know, cue points, loops, those kind of functions. And of course your play and your shift button is here. We have uh, what's commonly referred to as like a, a needle drop or random access. Uh, right here we call it scrub. And also you have your key lock. You can set each deck as master or, or uh, uh, sync. Uh, and uh, for the mix section, you'll notice a common workflow here. Denon uses it, Pioneer uses it where you have some effects that can be assigned to this knob, the bottom knob on each channel strip. So for instance, if I hit filter here, this would be a dual pole filter or chop, it'd be like a, a gator type effect. So this is a channel effect. We also have up here in the top corner, another effects group. And these are assigned uh, well, they're flexible. You can assign them to anything. If you look right here, you can see that we can change the assignment. Um, so this will pick the source. This will select the effect. And then you have two parameters for each effect as well. You also have, you know, your tap, your uh, effect on, tap BPM, and your B plus and minus. This has to do with uh, the tempo-based effects, like phrase-based effects. Uh, let's see, you have uh, adjustments here for your BPM, fine adjustments, as well as fine adjustments for your beat grid as well. Let me think here. Oh, uh, two independent microphone channels and two USB ports. So the idea here is, you know, of course, you could have two different drives uh, in here and pull music from each drive. But also, USB 2 can be used as a recording destination. So you can put a drive in here, hit the record button, and it'll record your set onto the, the drive. So uh, that's USB. Your master section right here, you have a, a, a very detailed LED meter here for your master, plus uh, control for master volume, balance, and booth out. Uh, you can select, like I explained over here, you can select to draw from USB 1, USB 2. Link is our link, um, our ethernet connection so if you wanted to use for instance the uh, MDJ 1000s you could connect two of those to here and synchronize and share library between all four units and then over here you have uh, the playback the, the library modification controls so if you wanted to browse your songs uh, look through playlists uh, look at song info or views toggles through uh, some different views available for the waveforms, like uh, stacked waveforms, vertical versus horizontal, and things like that, just uh, uh, to make the user be able to personalize the experience a little bit. Uh, on the front here, we have crossfader assign, curve control. It'll ship with a mini innovator. And uh, you have two jacks here for your headphones, so if you lose that adapter, you always have the little jack you can plug into as well. We expect this product to be out Q3 of this year, and uh, the US price will be $9.99. So it's very affordable, and um, yeah, we can't wait for it to come out. So, yeah, no, go ahead. back to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Craig. Uh, we are looking forward as well uh, to you know to see the final shipping unit and uh, 
and we're curious to see what it's uh, what it's going to be. Thank you for your explanation. Thank you.